Hi everyone. Hello. Good to have you today. It's Thursday the 26th and this is evening prayer. Hopefully all of you are okay and you had a good day today. It's a nice day. It's not raining. Um, I can hear the birds singing. It's, it's good. We have the wonders of God around us. We have to be very thankful for this looking around seeing the trees and, and hearing the birds is, is just amazing so let's approach our evening prayer with thanksgiving in our hearts for the life that we have been giving given and we have the privilege to live on this world oh god make speed to save us O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth. To you be glory and praise forever. From the darkness of death you have raised your Christ. To the right hand of your majesty on high, the pioneer of faith, his passion accomplished. He's opened for us the way to heaven and sent on us the promised spirit may be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence where song of triumph forever sounds blessed be god father son and the holy spirit blessed be god forever we pray that this evening may be holy good and peaceful let us pray with one heart and mind as our evening prayer rises before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. We're going to read Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, with or what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dom dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under his feet. O sheep, o sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, the whatsoever moves, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, the governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. We bless you, Master of the heavens, for the wonderful order which enfolds this world. Grant that your whole creation may find fulfillment in the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Songs of the Three. Interesting. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And blessed is your glorious holy name, and to, uh, to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled, uh, extolled and highly glorified forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths of your throne and the cherubim, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, and to be exalted and highly exalted forever. For, forever. Blessed are you in the ferment uh, of heaven, and to be sung and glorified forever. Blessed be Lord, uh, blessed the Lord, all your works of the, the Lord. Bless, uh, sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Bless the Lord, your heavens, you heavens. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. 
Bless the Lord, your angels of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. This is wonderful. You know, this um, This is um, nice to read before our scripture tonight. The scripture comes from um, uh, the, uh, Revelation 5. And we can see all this um, going on there as well. Um, it's, it's just wonderful praising the Lord. Um, let's go. So let's. I'm just going to read a, a little uh, a reflection on our, our psalm tonight, Psalm 8, which we just uh, read. Um, let's see. The Bible restores a human dignity, scarred but not lost in the fall. Auditing all the opening chapters of Genesis where mankind is called to exercise dominion over the created order, David brings us to, to praise God for the remarkable care he has entrusted to us. He is the God of heavens, having placed the stars in their orbits, and yet he has entrusted to humanity the care of the earth. When he speaks of our being uh, crowned with glory and honor, David speaks of the image of God bestowed upon every human. The reference to fall, uh, false enemies and avenger in the course of praising God for his creation reminds us that there was also a fall. We're going back to Genesis 3, 1 to 24. Yet despite of our fall into sin, God stig, uh, still dignifies his people as the steward of his creation. And yet we need a savior to overcome not only personal sin, but also the fallen conditions of the creation. By quoting this psalm, the writer of this book of Hebrews later clarifies that Christ our Savior is the perfect representation of the humanity described in this psalm. The one, the one toward whom the world was created came to restore the image marred at the fall. Verse 1 and 9 of Psalm 8 not only serves as book ends for the psalm, they also anticipate the end of all things when Christ's enemies will be made a footstool for his feet and his name will be majestic throughout all the earth. Amen. All right. Wonderful. Okay. We read the Song of Three. We're going to Revelation 5. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll written on the inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and, uh, and break the seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See! The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb standing as if it, was, it had been slain, slaughtered, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals 
for you were slaughtered, slaughtered and by your blood you were ransomed for good saints from every tribe and language and people and nations you have made them to be kingdom and priests servant serving our god and they will reign on earth then i looked and i heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders the number they numbered um, myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands singing with full voice worthy is the lamb that was slaughtered, slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing then i heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever and the four living creatures said amen and the elders fell down and worshiped wow this was <laughs> amazing i mean revelation is amazing book it is just amazing it's, yeah and it's just yeah it's not an easy book to read but once you get into it it's just wonderful so revelation chapter five so if you go back a tiny bit i i would say if you read revelation start from the beginning take it one step at a time and and try and imagine and see what is going on um so in in going back a bit chapter four it's it's about the um that magnificent view of heaven it describes when john is taken um it's this this magnificent view of heaven it describes the throne of god uh what is around the throne of god what is in front of it coming out of it um who is sitting on it as well it says someone was sitting on it who had the appearance of jasper think about it he's, it's a vision he can only describe when you have a vision god can only work with something that you understand and it's something that you've seen and you can only compare things to what your imagination can understand so he saw whoever was sitting on the throne um as someone uh, had the appearance of jasper and ruby a rainbow that shone like emerald and circled the throne something that looked like sea of glass there's so many discussions around about this sea of glass clear as crystal was in front of it surrounding the throne were the 24 elders dressed in white and with their crowns um, on their heads and four living creatures reflecting the faces of Jesus I believe there's lots of lots of discussions um, and all of them around the throne of God were constantly praising and this is how chapter 4 ends and this is how chapter 5 starts they're constantly praising the Lord um, they are uh, whoever is on the throne and they're saying holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come amen they're praising chapter 5 we're zoomed in onto the one who sits on the throne. There is something in his right hand. Right hand. There's a scroll with writing on top and the bottom on, and two sides and both sides and sealed and it's sealed with seven seals. No one. I mean, there's some wonderful, there's some wonderful animation. There's some wonderful short animations. Um, I mean, there's so many things on YouTube to watch. There's some wonderful animations showing if you can try and imagine it but also watch a few videos about this it's really it's really interesting uh, sorry <laughs> and you can see here no one is found worthy to open it no one on earth and on he in on the heavens anyone anyone nobody is uh, uh, worthy to open it so this this is clearly an important moment um, uh, 
and, and John needed to witness this. He, nobody can open this. And he felt so sad about this. He was weeping. Um, he was quite distressed about this until one of the 24 elders told him that the lion of the, of the tribe of Judah is the only one who is worthy. He can open it. Don't worry. He will open it. He's the only one worthy to open it, to open the scrolls and the seven seals. Um, and you can see a lot of sevens, the lamb with the seven horns and the seven uh, symbolizing the power, almighty, he's all powerful and all the seven eyes, he's all seeing and all knowing. This is Jesus who he's all, he's got the, all of the power and, and, and he can see it all and he knows it all. There's nothing covered, you can't cover anything. You can cover things from people, you can't, you can't hide from God. God is all seeing and all knowing and all powerful. And there's a lot of sevens here. We can see the seven is the number of completion of something is completed. Seven days. The week has seven days. The seven, the seven years. The, there's a lot of sevens. Um, this again, there's so endless discussions about who are the twenty-four. I'm not claiming I. I'm investigating all this at, the, at this point and lots of people we have lots of different opinions and it's good for everybody to hear all of these different opinions make up your own mind investigate um, and see what, what feels lots of people will say the 24 represent all of us all of us all, all of the believers other people will say the 24 will be the 12 disciples and the 12 tribes of Judah. This it's quite, I'm telling you, when you get into it, this is such an interesting thing to, to explore. Don't, don't try and avoid the book of Revelation thinking it's too much, it's too complicated. I just don't get it. Well, we on, the only way we get it is if we investigate it. And it's, it's a wonderful book. Um, so try and picture this lamb that was looked like it was slain uh, and it had the seven horns and seven eyes and um, it took the book and everybody around fell down to worship with harps, the instruments, they had harps and incense, which were the prayers of God's people. So if you ever wondered if God is hearing your prayer, um, Yes, he is. All our prayers are never lost. All our prayers are there. Look, the incense, which was the prayers of God's people. The prayers are before the throne of God. They matter. They're not, never wasted. Sometimes we don't see, we don't um, receive the answer straight away, but God's ways and our ways are different. And we just got this teaching of patience for once and if we always get whatever we pray for, I don't think that's good because we don't often, sometimes we don't know what's best for us. We don't understand how things work. Uh, we can't see the future. God knows the future. God knows what's the best for you. Sometimes you pray for things that are not good for you, but you don't even know it. So when I pray about things, um, I always say, we have the, that's how I feel. That's what I want, but God, let it be your will. Because you are the one who knows what's best for me, for my family, for my life. You are the one who knows how to use me in the best way possible, because that's the whole purpose of our life, to be alive, to be proclaiming the word of God and to be reaching people for salvation. This is why. So God's ways are perfect. Our ways are not perfect. Our ways are sinful. So always when you pray, always trust God and say, but let it not be my will, but your will, the way Jesus said. So the theme, oh yes, the theme of chapter 4 is Worthy are you, Lord, for creating all things. While well, here the theme in chapter 5 is Worthy are you, Lord, for being slain. You've been slain for our sins. Why? Because he is the only reason why. <laughs> why we have a way to heaven. Jesus is the way, only way and the truth and the life. This is why. So we can see all of them, um, 24 plus the four um, beasts, uh, so the four, the four wonderful creatures and the four, 24 elders, 
thousands and thousands um, of angels um, worshipping, falling down and worshipping the Lord. And the four creatures saying, uh, Amen, you know. It's good to say I mean in hallelujah in church. Which, <laughs> and I know lots of you do that. And I've told you, that's amazing. That's wonderful. Praise the Lord for, for people that shout out I mean in hallelujah. This is wonderful. We can see the four creatures here saying amen. And then verse 13 says, um, uh, the, uh, And then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and the sea and in the sea some blessing and order and glory and power belong to the one who's sitting on the throne and to the lamb forever and ever this is very interesting i have not done a research in terms of seeing what people said about this but this i find this verse 13 very interesting um i'm sure again there's so many different theories about this but i my first impression it's just everybody who's ever been created, everybody on the earth. I know there's people discussing about heaven, first heaven, second heaven, third he heaven, skies, stuff like that. I'm not going into all this, but it's simply what it says. Everybody on earth, under the earth. Does it mean everybody who had died, who had died as well? Everybody alive and everybody dead? under the earth everybody everything in the sea every single creature in the water on the land in the sky everybody was praising everybody can see this is this is the beginning of the end this is the beginning of the seven years isn't it this is everybody can see the one everybody can see jesus and everybody now worships the one and only who the only one worthy um, then obviously chapter 6 goes into what happens when those seven seals are broken and this is the beginning of, of lots of lots of things happening in those seven years but we were not talking about that now so we're gonna move on I'm telling you it's so interesting it's hopefully we're gonna get to talk about it um, hmm. Sing to the Lord and bless His name. Tell our His tell out His salvation from day to day. God has gone up with merry noises. Sing to the Lord and bless His name. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Tell out His salvation from day to day. He has led captivity captive and given gifts to his people sing to the lord and bless his name tell out his salvation from day to day the magnificat the song of mary is said okay i have made your name known to those who have given me and now i pray for them for i am coming to you hallelujah my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has, gone, has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has, uh, he has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arms and has scattered the proud in their con conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has gone to the aid of sin of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. I mean, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I have made your name known to these you have given me, and now I pray for them. Coming to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful word of yours. Thank you for the wonders of your word. It's so rich and full of wisdom. Give us, give us this eagerness and wish to read it and understand it and study it. And, and study it with your wisdom, not just, not just 
think that it's too hard or, or difficult or, or complicated or mm, not we don't let us not feel that it's just for some people it's for all of us this is your words this is your words it's not just for people that study theology it's for everyone and speak to each one of us through your words speak to our hearts and minds and let us understand whatever you want us to hear for us for our lives for our families for our ministries because all of us are priests uh, in you god all of us are told that we are your servants and we need to be out there reaching people and serving not just serving in church but serving in our communities when we're going to work when we're going to the shop on the street to the gym to anywhere really this is where we serve and this is where we are witnesses for you jesus with everything we say and everything we do we represent you so god forgive us when we misrepresent your name and face and love and because this is how we are we are human beings we make mistakes um and this is what we do daily thank you for being so merciful to us and if it wasn't for your son jesus christ and us being covered by his blood we would never be able to measure we have been measured and we have, we have been found unworthy um, because of your name jesus we are worthy you have been the lamb you are the lamb that has been slain for, for us for our sins thank you jesus thank you our father we pray for for everybody around this world who is suffering constantly in war hunger uh, all all that is going on around this world we pray for these families devastated by loss those children in, in US in, in Texas those those little innocent wonderful children that lost their lives we pray for we pray for their families those little children that knew nothing of their lives yet they were full of hope they were full of hope and love Pray for their families. I'm sorry. It's it's give us strength to pray for those who are hurting. It's really hard. It's really hard. God has said to to cry with those who are suffering and be happy and full of joy with those who are rejoicing. And that is what we are doing. Our hearts are breaking for all this. They have been lost again. This senseless shooting. Be in control, God. Be in control of every situation. Protect our children. Protect all children around the world. Protect them, Jesus. We pray this in your name. In your name, Jesus, we pray. We are asking for your wisdom and leadership in our churches, in our homes, in our communities. We are asking for your healing of our hearts, minds and bodies. In your name, we pray. Amen. The collect for the day grant we pray almighty god that as we believe your only begotten son our lord jesus christ to have ascended into the heavens so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. those commercials again on YouTube I'm trying to skip And yes, indeed, our hope is in God alone. Bless you, everyone. See you soon.